In this short video, I'm going to explain the importance of the registered address and how to update it on CIPC. Now, there are many types of addresses, for example, residential address, that's where you live, business address, where you work, postal address, usually a PO box, and the registered address, which is where all legal documents are served. With most startup businesses, all four of these addresses are usually the same. Now, it's important to understand the difference between these various addresses. Let me give you a practical example. In the past, before government departments were digitized, many businesses used their accountant's business address as the company's registered address. This was to ensure that all SARS correspondence went directly to the accountant's business address. This saved time, which often prevented penalties for late tax submissions. The same applies to legal documents or traffic fines. Now, should you ever get to in any form of legal trouble, then the sheriff of the court will serve the summons at the registered address. It is the responsibility of the directors to ensure that the registered address is accurate and up to date with both CIPC and SARS. Failure to do this can result in a fine or even prosecution if the information is found not to be up to date. According to the Companies Act, all companies must keep records of their minutes, resolutions, share register, financial statements at a location that has been declared to CIPC. Now, unless a separate location has been filed with CIPC, this address is deemed to be the registered address. So how do you update the registered address with CIPC? Just complete the application form with a new address, including a compulsory email address, and get the directors to sign the limited power of attorney, and then scan and email the application to us. Remember, this application is only to change the company's registered address and not the individual residential addresses of the directors. That is a separate CIPC process. Once we have received all the documents, we will create the company resolution and send the application to CIPC on your behalf. At the time of making this video, the CIPC process was not entirely digital, so you can expect the process to take approximately two weeks. I hope this video has been helpful, so as always remember, we are here to help.